So if you've been living in China for a while, you may have heard that it's kind of tricky to send money outside of China. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you three ways to send money outside of China without having to go to a bank branch coming up. Something to know is that there is a regulation in China that every individual can only transfer up to 50,000 USD per year. So that's per individual. So if you want to transfer over that, then you need to seek another individual to help you out. But the methods I'm going to be teaching you are going to bypass this regulation. You can send as much money as you want overseas without the bank branch tracking it. The three methods I'm going to teach you are the following. PayPal, Swapsy, and having an external bank account outside of mainland China, like Hong Kong, Taiwan, or Macau. So the first method I'm gonna go through is PayPal. When you use PayPal, essentially you need to create two different PayPal accounts. One PayPal will be like the international version that includes your home country's bank account. Then you need to make another PayPal account that's in China. So it'd be paypal.com slash CN. And it's a Chinese version of PayPal where you have to link it to either a Chinese credit card or a Chinese bank account. So the fastest way I was able to send money from China using this method was to have my international PayPal request my Chinese PayPal a payment. So in, in an example I used, I requested 1,500 USD to my Chinese PayPal account and I used my Chinese PayPal account that is linked to my Chinese credit card and Chinese bank account to pay that 1,500 USD. Now note, at the end of the day, it took me about three to four days to actually finish this transaction and they charged me a whopping $60 for this kind of transaction. So it was kind of expensive. If you want to learn in greater detail on how to do this transaction step by step, I actually made a video about how to make PayPal accounts to transfer money overseas and you can refer to it in the link up here and I'll put it in the description down below as well. The second method is a third party application that I just recently found out called Swapsy. You can go to their website called theswapsy.com and it is a peer to peer platform where you can transfer money from China and outside of China. This was actually developed by a group of students that studied overseas in the United States from China and when they graduated from college and returned back to China, they had money left in their bank account that they wanted to get rid of in the US. So they used Swapsy to get paid in RMB. So how the process works is that if you want to change your RMB to USD, you pay somebody either using WeChat or Alipay the amount requested that they have the equivalent of USD on their bank account at home. So in my case, I tested this with about $1,450 worth of RMB. I simply paid it in Alipay and I had to wait two days for them to transfer that money using PayPal or Zelle. If you want the money directly transferred to your bank account, I highly recommend you stick with Zelle because PayPal may have an additional fee from getting the money from the PayPal account into your bank account in the United States or your home country. But at the end of the day, it took me about two days to receive the money to my bank account and the fee for this transaction was only $35, which is a lot cheaper than what I previously mentioned on PayPal for $60. Now note, using this platform Form, you can only transfer about 100 to 1,500 dollars at a time whereas PayPal the limit may be a little bit higher at a time in case you have a larger amount and the last method probably the most unconventional method but you don't actually have to go to the bank branch to do it is to have an external bank account in Greater China so in my case I have a bank account in Hong Kong and since I live in Guangzhou it's about two hours away like the whole trip from Guangzhou to Hong Kong what we do at the customs is bring 20,000 RMB per person because that's what you're allowed to bring across the border no questions asked so you have maybe you and a couple of friends your wife or your family bring 20,000 RMB each in their hand of course it's inconvenient to bring all that cash but that's a method to do it so once you cross the border, then you can either go to a bank branch and deposit the money at the bank branch that you have your Hong Kong bank account, or you look for a deposit machine or recycler machine where you can just deposit the money, then it instantly gets credited into your bank account. Then from there, once you receive the cash, you can go ahead and use a third party platform like TransferWise as I've used in the past to transfer the money from your Hong Kong bank account all the way to your US bank account or other bank account. Note that the fees here are gonna be the transaction fees of actually using the machine to deposit the cash and maybe the currency exchange fees that you may typically experience at a bank branch. I tried this with about $1,300 and the transfer fee from 
my Hong Kong bank account to my US bank account was only about $10 using the third party platform. When it's all said and done, it was pretty inconvenient to have to travel from Guangzhou to Hong Kong. But again, I'm just showing you different methods to bypass the 50,000 limits that you have in China. Something I did want to mention is that Swapsies currencies are pretty limited. So you can only swap RMB, pounds, Canadian dollars, and USD. I don't think there's any other currencies it currently supports. You can of course go to the bank branch in China and transfer this manually, but it's gonna count against your 50,000 each year. And if you don't provide the right paperwork, like how you got your income, like proof of income, proof that you're paying taxes, if you don't provide all that paperwork, the bank will most likely not transfer you the money. I've actually had some friends that wanted to transfer a large amount of money that was under the 50,000 USD and the bank made some arbitrary rules about having to bring extra paperwork and it made life difficult. So this kind of bypasses all that face-to-face -face interaction you need to have with the bank. If I learned any other ways to go ahead and transfer money without going to a bank branch in China, I'll definitely keep you updated. Let me know how your experience has been transferring money overseas because I know it can be different for each person. And if you know of a method that I have not covered, please let me know in the comments down below so I can dig deeper into it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my my channel make sure you hit that bell notification as well to receive updates every week when i post on this channel about having a better lifestyle in china as a foreigner anyways i hope you enjoyed this video keep surviving and i'll catch you in the next one